Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where we need to get this contract done, this exploration contract to transfer crew between vessels near Minmus. It's really boring. Really, really boring. But we gotta get it done so that we can move on to more interesting things. So let's just slap together a really, really quick pair of craft to do this with. We're probably going to send, like, one up completely empty. Uh, who do we have for crew right now? We should have the person who is pretending to be Mad Bro that needs some experience. Or the person Mad Bro is pretending to be, I should say, who needs some experience. That could be exciting. Okay, uh, let's just grab... Something along the lines of, where is it? The Minmus Docker. So a cheap craft here that's very, very basic. I don't like the way that this flew. I know I did it off camera, but I don't like the way that this flew through the atmosphere previously. So I am going to toss on some tail fins just to give us a little bit more control here. And double checking, yeah, 1.57 thrust to weight. That's absolutely fine. Now we need to transfer craft here and we don't need to dock. So we can ditch the RCS fuel blocks, and by extension, we can also ditch the RCS tank. That'll save us a little bit of weight there, but we're going to need a crew passenger area. So I think we'll include a pod here, and that'll just be a very, very light, basic pod. Like, the lightest pod is the Orion, or rather, the Onion re-entry module, right? 6.76 compared to the Mark I command pod. Yeah, that is slightly lighter. And it's going to have to come back as well. So we're going to have to make a few modifications to this. Okay, so we'll just attach this guy here. I think that we should honestly just bring this back with a really, really basic thing. So we're going to put in a heat shield here. Not a 2.5 meter. We're going to put in a 1.25 meter heat shield. We're going to put in a quick decoupler here. A TD-12. There we go. And we've got that rechargeable battery bank. We're going to put in a couple of solar panels. Something really, really basic like this. That gets us most of the way there, for sure. Um, we should have some probably parachutes. <laughs> that would that would probably help. Uh, we'll put a Mark 16 parachute up here and then a pair of drogue chutes, and that should be more than enough. We shouldn't need any more parachutes than that. I'm going to just put in a pair of drogues like so. That'll do the trick. This is going to be very, very quick and easy. And we should have more than enough fuel to do this. So this is not going to be the Minmus Docker. This is going to be the Minmus Transfer. -er. Perfect. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's quite the name. Okay, so let's hop into our crew here, if the game will let me. Why do we not have the crew option here? Hang on. Uh, am I? Okay, there we go. We got caught up. That was a little strange. So I think we're going to bring Dilful here, even though we know that this is Mad Bro, but we're going to bring Dilful just to get some experience. Might as well. There's no reason to bring anybody else. And if this happens to crash, well, that's not the end of the world. So the second one of these that we're going to bring... Actually, I was just thinking here. One of these is not going to need the re-entry equipment. And we would just simply crash it into Minmus. That would be the one that brings Dilful. So this one should actually go up empty. So we'll go ahead and do that. Wonderful. We are not going to be using Mad Bro's fancy technology. That's altogether too fancy for us. We're going to be doing this the old-fashioned way. And we're heading out to Minmus with this automated craft at this moment. So that'll be fine. We're going to put this into an orbit over Minmus, and we just need to get two craft up there. So let's go as... Okay. <laughs> we uh, may have messed this up with the staging. We're right here, so I'm going to, for the sake of time, revert it. We could have just collected both of them, but uh, let's fix that staging. That, that would be nice. So we're going to do something kind of like... Let's see. That's that decoupler that one there beautiful we do this and then we do uh technically this should go about here and then like that okay there we go 
But yeah, we'll revert that for the sake of time. It's exactly the same as if we were to just recover both of those separate parts. Not a big deal. Okay, cool. Let's launch this, and we got to go quick. I'm hoping to get this all done this episode. It might be a little bit of a long episode. We'll see what our timing is looking like. Off we go. We do not need our side boosters. It should be absolutely fine. So up we go here. A little bit slow off the pad from what we're used to, but it's fine. We're going to start getting our gravity turn up. Getting some amount of horizontal speed. This thing doesn't have quite as much control through the atmosphere as what I'm used to, but imagine how it was without the fins. <laughs> it was wobbling all over the place. That was pretty exciting, actually. I wish I had done that on camera because it, it was a sight to behold. Cool. So we're just going to make our way up here. What is our current apoapsis? It is 13 kilometers. No big deal. You can already see some wobbliness here. But that's completely fine. 17 kilometers. We should probably get some additional altitude here. I'm not going to go too far over towards the horizon. We'll just park here for the moment. We can see time to apoapsis is increasing, so that's absolutely fine. Beautiful. 30 kilometers. 40. And that's just going to keep going up faster and faster. At this point, we probably do want to go over towards the horizon now that we're at 50 kilometers for our apoapsis. Horizontal speed is most of what we need, after all. It doesn't want to come back and park right at that horizon. I don't like that temperature gauge there. I'll be honest. I'm just going to go over to prograde. And we'll burn it up a little further and get that apoapsis there. Okay, we'll coast from here. This is good enough. So we're going to add a maneuver at the apoapsis. That wasn't quite at the apoapsis, but fairly close. And we'll circularize that. That should do the trick. We can't, of course, lock to the maneuver node, but that's fine. We're just coasting here. And we'll just try to turn our way over there using our very tiny reaction wheel and our fins. We don't have that much fuel left here, but it's plenty to get into orbit and to do a significant part of our inclination change. Actually, maybe enough to get our full inclination change and a significant part of our transfer done. Uh, we're overshooting here. I'm trying to bring us back. That poor reaction wheel working overtime here. <laughs> this tiny, tiny little reaction wheel. And our fins are barely doing anything at this altitude, so... Yeah, that's why we overshot this pretty heavily. That's okay, not a big deal. We are officially in space now, and we've got plenty of time to get turned back. Okay, let's start our time warp right about now we'll do. This is, of course, going to be a full prograde turn. I say turn, a full prograde burn. <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for. We're going to continue to warp a little bit here. 30 seconds. Oh, uh, I almost forgot to extend our solar panels. Let's not extend or forget to extend those. We don't have all that much for battery charge in this, do we? Oh, actually, we have plenty. That wouldn't have been a problem for a good long time. This is going to start up in 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. Cool. So, I mean, technically, that's a, sing a single stage to orbit. It's uh, a really jank single stage to orbit, but... Technically, it does the trick. Cool. We'll call that good, and we're going to head over to Minmus. We'll set that as our target. What is our inclination here? 6.5 degrees. Okay. Not too bad. I mean, it's kind of bad, but it's not horrible. We'll go this direction. 
I think that's a timing issue, isn't it? Yep, okay. We'll call that good. That is, of course, going to be, I think, anti-normal. Potentially. Yes, anti-normal. Excellent. So we're just physics warping our way over there. This is more than enough for our inclination change. And we're going to have a similar... Actually, we'll have enough to basically take us out to Minmus. Which is fairly expected. We should probably extend this high-gain antenna. But... Hey, well, we definitely should. This is this is unmanned. <laughs> About 50 seconds here. Let's go. 20. 10. And... It started a, a little bit late, but it's good enough. Did we overshoot that? Half a degree? We did overshoot it. Okay, we'll rotate it on around. That's a very slow rotation. And actually, it looks like we are in an interesting time for a burn here. But it's basically the exact opposite. If, if Minmus was over here, we'd want to be burning. But no. Okay, let's uh, bring this right on down. 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Okay, that's as good as we're going to get, and it's absolutely fine. So Minmus is out over here right now, so we should probably burn here-ish. That does the trick. I'd want to bring this in to be, I don't know, maybe like 250 kilometers. It doesn't really matter, to be honest, but uh, let's see if we can't unpin this for one thing and adjust this maneuver okay uh, let's try the timing hello that's pretty nice like I said I think 250 will do so we'll put it about there and bring it back up it really doesn't matter where we do this. There. That'll do. Okay. Let's get rotated around to this maneuver point. Beautiful. And we will prepare for this burn. And yeah, we can see we can get almost the entire transfer done here. Based on this fuel. And we've got lots of fuel in this fuel tank. Although this is a heavier craft than the docking craft. There's no doubt about that because there's only 2,000 meters per second here. I think there was 3,000 in the docking craft. It was hilariously overkill. But this is definitely a slightly heavier craft. So we're going to warp forward a little bit. Remember, this is our craft that's going to return. Our other one is not going to return. Three, two, one, and zero. And off we go to Minmus. The majority of this burn will be done via these tanks here. There we go. And let's head out here. This is probably good enough. Right? Let's see. That's good enough. We could technically tweak it, and we've overshot here. We could go for the 250. It really doesn't matter, though. It really, really doesn't matter. So I'm going to call this good enough. We're going to put in a retrograde burn here and circularize that. As long as we're circular, that's all that matters here. Inclination is irrelevant. Also irrelevant... Ah, this is good enough. Also irrelevant is the actual altitude of the orbit. Uh, don't go back there, please. We'll just park here, and we'll enter orbit, and then we'll need to send our chase craft up. Technically, we could send the chase craft up now. And we probably should have, but I like to get this done first. It, it, it's not the most, like, in-game time efficient way to do it, but it'll do. Cool. About a minute here. 40 seconds. 30, 20, 10, and 5, 4, 3... Two, one, mark. About a 14 second burn here. And we'll just enter an orbit. Again, the actual orbit char characteristics really don't matter. As long as it's a stable orbit. This'll do. Okay. 
Now we're going to head back to the Space Center and we're going to do the whole thing again, but this time we're not going to be having our recovery bits on it. So we're not going... Actually, I think I'll keep the parachute on the nose cone just for the aerodynamics and in case we need to do like an abort which we probably won't need to do but the the two drogue shoots are going to be gotten rid of the decoupler is going to be gotten rid of and the heat shield those are all unnecessary components here for sure so these go away these go away and the rest of it just gets hooked back up like that now we're going to have Dilful in here, who is definitely not mad, bro. And we're going to launch. And we're heading off. This one should get there a little bit faster, in theory. By that, I mean, like, in terms of video time. And then we'll do the transfer, and then we'll bring them back. And we'll try to make this as quick as we can. So we're not going to have any problems with our staging this time, I think. Double checking that real quick. Yep, that looks all good. You ready, Dilful? I hope you are, because we're going. So off we go. And then Dilful will, of course, just do a uh, EVA transfer. And that's all we're trying to get done here. I want that mission done so that hopefully we can get some efficient viewer contracts going. That would be amazing. So, we're going a little fast. I uh, may not have been paying attention there. <laughs> Fantastic. We definitely need to get this gravity turn going. And let's see what our apoapsis is. Eight kilometers. Not too, too bad. I guess we'll punch up through the atmosphere a little bit more quickly this time than our previous ascent. So, that's not too bad, considering how much we ended up seeing and heating. Let's park here for the moment. And this is fine. We can definitely see time to apoapsis increasing here. No shockers there. And yeah, let's just make our way up through the atmosphere a little bit more quickly this time, I think. That, that would be a good thing, for sure. 30 kilometer apoapsis. And 40. And that's a 50-kilometer apoapsis. Beautiful. So we'll start cautiously making our way over towards the horizon here. We're definitely moving pretty quickly here, no doubt about that. There's that heat gauge. Hopefully we don't have any problems from that. We're just going to park here on the horizon. We can see our apoapsis height is a little up there. Okay, sure. I guess we'll target 200. A little further than that. Cool. There we go. That's absolutely fine. And it doesn't really matter as long as this is roughly circularized. A stable orbit is really all that matters here. Cool. So we'll head on over like we did before. And I'm going to physics warp since we know this is a slow process. And uh, a little bit of a wiggly one, apparently. Cool. No overshoot this time, and we can simply do this. Excellent. We know it's going to be a pure prograde burn. 50 seconds. 40, 30, 20, 10, and 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Excellent. Excellent. And that's a stable orbit. Overshot it a little bit. I uh, didn't have my button press pressed quite hard enough there. That's okay. It doesn't matter. So we're going to set our target to be Minmus again. Let's do our inclination change. That will be over here, 6.5 degrees. So we're basically at the exact same inclination. We could have launched into the correct inclination, but that sounds like work. So 3 degrees, 2 degrees, 1 degree, and there we go. Beautiful. That's going to be an anti-normal burn. We will physics warp our way over there. As before, we're going to have a roughly similar amount of excess fuel. I think a little less this time, maybe. 
We did shed some weight, though, so we should be slightly more efficient on that front. Slightly. Okay, cool. It's going to be about a three-second burn here, and let's continue to warp in. 40 seconds, 30, 20, 10, and 3, 2, 1, mark. Okay, where are we at? Little bit more here. There we go. That'll do. Okay, so now we're going to do a rendezvous here. We'll be in the wrong inclination, but that's fine. Not too concerned about that. That's a moon right in the middle of the world. Thank you, moon. Very cool. And let's change our timing here. We don't really care about the orbit that we get. We just want... Oh, that's a moon again. Get out of here, moon. We want to go this way anyway. Cool. So we don't really care about the orbit that we get as long as it's like outside of this one. That seems absolutely fine. Let's get in position for this. We'll physics warp our turn. And once again, this is nearly the entire transfer on our very, very fancy single stage to orbit. This is an incredibly fancy design that we've got going on here. <laughs> I say knowing full well that this is the least fancy design on the planet. I like it. So this is going to be about a 16 second burn as before. We'll get into position here and it will be a prograde burn. 30 seconds, 20, 10, and now. And off we go. So we'll get the bulk of this done with our big ol' mainsail engine. And off goes our tiny little craft. Cool. 1.7 meters per second here. Okay. That'll do. Cool. So next, of course, we're just going to do a quick circularization burn here. Our inclination will almost certainly be quite different, and we'll get ourselves a transfer here soon enough. Okay, let's head on over. So that's going to be about a 12-second burn. Beautiful. You know... We should probably extend our solar panels. What's our power like? Actually, none, but we can extend our solar panels. That's fine. <laughs> we did manage to drain all of our battery. Luckily, Dilfel is here. What is this tumble? I guess SAS is off, but uh, that was exciting. I don't know why it decided to do that. We'll extend our antenna here as well. Tends to help to remember to do those things. Luckily, I did when we didn't have the crew on board. Dilfel aka mad bro can do that okay sounds good so off we go and we're going to head right on in here about a 12 second burn we'll need to match planes we can see we're actually basically on the correct inclination not bad not quite correct but probably good enough we might not even need an inclination change i like it so it's going to be a pure retrograde burn in 40, 30, 20, 10, 3, 2, 1, 0. Cool. So this is absolutely fine, of course. We have no real problem here whatsoever. Overshot it a little bit. I don't know that I care about that. This is good enough. We just need N orbit, right? So we set this guy as our target. We know that we are off by like 2.1 degrees, but that's probably okay. Let's see what this intercept timing looks like. That's pretty good right out over here. 1.4 kilometers. That's really, 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 really nice. I, ooh, I saw a 0 0.4 there. Yep, we'll call that good. Okay, so that's going to be in about one day. Let's warp on over to that. 12.1 meters per second. We should probably thrust limit this guy down a bit. Down to like 5% thrust. Yeah, that's a 14 second burn. That's much better. It's going to be a pure retrograde burn. And we're going to commence that in 3, 2, 1, mark. I think I started slightly early there because of the autosave, but... It's fine. Or did it autosave? There was a little bit of a hitch there. 
but I think I started this burn ever so slightly early. It doesn't really matter. Cool. 1.4 kilometers is good enough. Let's warp to about here. And over we go. So we're going to go into target mode. And we can see we're very, very close here. Where is our target right now? Should be towards Minmus from us or about? Okay, one. That's a ways away yet. Let's continue to warp in a bit here. Okay. I'm going to push us over this direction. Just to do a small corrective burn and slow down a bit on the way. Looks good. So we're now basically headed directly at the target. Let's head on in. Beautiful. We can get a little closer than this, and we might want to unthrust limit this up to like, I don't know, 20% thrust. Yeah, that'll do. And let's decelerate here a bit in a moment anyway. Bring that right on in. And that's a decent rendezvous there. So now all we're going to do is we're going to have Dilful EVA. And Dilful's just going to fly over. That's literally the whole thing that we're going to do here. We're just going to fly right on over and hop in on this side. If the hatch is obstructed, Dilful's an engineer and we can move the parachute. But I don't think it will be. No, we're good. Okay, so this one here, the one that doesn't have Dilful, all it's going to do is hop over to Retrograde, and we're just going to crash this into the surface of Minmus. So we're out of here. Goodbye. We'll dispose of it this way. No space junk here. There we go. That's an impact trajectory, and let's swap on over. This guy, of course, we're going to return back to Kerbin. So, around here-ish, we're going to do a prograde burn. Beautiful. That'll do, right there. We'll fine-tune that in, of course. And let's try to make this return pretty quickly. It is time to put a cut in here, but I want to get this entire mission done this episode. It's a very boring mission. <laughs> Not much going on here. So let's get this over with. Cool. Commencing this burn in 50 seconds. 40, 30, 20, 10, and 3, 2, 1, mark. Are we thrust limited here? No, we're not. That's okay. We don't need to be thrust limited. Excellent. Okay, uh, 1.3 meters per second. Let's get that last little bit done. I did like the periapsis that we had there. So let's get a small corrective burn done here. There we go. That'll do. So what do we got for our periapsis? Oh, yeah. Absolutely fine. No problem whatsoever here. So we're just going to do a big old radial retrograde burn sometime around here. And we'll just do something kind of like this. We're going to be targeting fairly... Can I pin you open, please? Thank you. We're going to be targeting something fairly low for our periapsis. Something along the lines of... Let's see. That's 27 kilometers. No, that's the wrong periapsis. Hang on. This is the apoapsis here. This is definitely too low. <laughs> definitely too low on that front. So we need to back off on this a little bit. And a little bit backed off on the radial as well. That's actually 40 kilometers, so we need to be up over here then. Okay. That's still 50 kilometers? Something about like that. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, that looks good. Let's get in position for that. And of course, we're not going to be recovering anything here really except for the capsule, right? So we're just going to warp on in. 
We're heading back into, into the Kerbin Sphere of Influence. Oh, that zoomed in very close. Okay, fantastic. Here we come, Kerbin. Very slowly, but here we come. Excellent. Three days now until our burn. And we're just looking to burn off a good amount of this speed. Not that it's necessary. Arrow breaking would probably do the trick here. Actually, almost certainly. Cool. Two, one, and zero. So I'm going to... Oh, I don't like the way it oscillates when we physics warp. I don't like that at all. So these are going to burn off, right? But that's absolutely fine. How much burn time do we actually have in this? Okay. Only like 50 seconds here. I hope that we don't pick up a big oscillation from Physics Warp. It's kind of big. Yeah. That's pretty uncontrollable. Okay. We should be on retrograde at this point anyway. So we're just going to call that good. We're going to slow this right on down. What is our impact looking like? Okay. Yeah, we probably... We don't require any additional burn here. I'm just going to ditch this. And we're going to physics warp our way on in. Lovely. Now, we're probably going to run out of power pretty quickly here, I think. Um, actually, we can store a decent amount. But we're just bringing back this capsule. Also, we did indeed complete our contracts, so that is exactly as planned. And we're going to be slowing down remarkably quickly here. We have a lot of drag set up here, so that's absolutely fine. This should be a splashdown, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely a splashdown. Looks good. And it really doesn't matter what angle we come in at here. All of this is heat shielded, so no problem whatsoever there. And there goes our, uh, our engine. Okay, drogues out, main out. We're continuing to physics warp down. I'm actually surprised at how close this is coming down. I'm quite surprised about that. I thought our drag would have uh, pushed that quite a bit further, but apparently not. I like it. So that splashes down hard and is destroyed. No shockers there. And downward we go. Drogues deploying. Continuing to physics warp here. And we'll recover this. Mostly we just wanted to get that contract out of the way so that we could hopefully do a more interesting contract, not in the Kerbin system. I'd love like a trip to Moho or Duna. Either of those would be great. We have a viewer contract for both of those at this moment, so that would be really ideal. So we'll get a splash down here eventually, as we very slowly physics warp our way down. Very slowly physics warp our way down. To be honest, the drogues were unnecessary, but it's fine. And splashdown. Fantastic. We'll recover that. And now the main question is, what do we get for our exploration contract? Hopefully it's something interesting and it's not like transfer crew in orbit of the moon. <laughs> That would be really, that would be really sad. We'll see what it is. But now there should be no evidence that this mission took place either. So that's perfect. Because I believe, um, no, we should still have the, uh, the booster. The initial booster should be up there. Okay. Well, let's see what we've got here. Explore Eve. Enter the atmosphere of Eve. Ooh, that's a spicy one. That's a spicy one. Well, we accept it, and uh, <laughs> we'll see how we want to do that one. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Rogue Corvid, Kentogan, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.